तो हेलो फ्रेंड्स तो टुडे ऑनवर्ड्स ऑन एवरी फ्राइडे विल स्टार्ट द क्लास अबाउट इलेक्ट्रो होम्योपैथी ओके सो बेसिकली इलेक्ट्रो होम्योपैथी इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके बिकॉज इट इज द वे ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट ओके सो इन आवर पैथी वी विल ट्रीट विद द हेल्प ऑफ इलेक्ट्रो होम्योपैथी ओनली सो बेसिकली वॉट इज इलेक्ट्रो होम्योपैथी and what is the history everything we want to know about that basically we have to go a longest period backward to understood about medicinal history so basically uh, nowadays four systems are popular we are all listening one is allopathy okay and another one is ayurveda and yunani and homeopathy okay so these are the four systems which are recognized by the government of india or medical counseling of india okay whoever want to do this course he have to write the entrance test okay then he have to complete the course four and a half years five and a half years whatever the duration of the course then he will get the degree then afterwards he will practice okay this is the format of every pathy allopathy ayurveda pathy unani pathy or homeopathy so these are the complete means uh, in this pathies the more everyone have their own principles own remedies own medicines own way of diagnosis okay so basically every medicine or every uh, pathy needs basically four things one is own principle okay on which basis he defined health and disease okay and <clears throat> own diagnosis how the diagnosis is is doing means if you are describing the disease it is disease how you are diagnosing how you are knowing that this is a disease okay so everyone have their own style to uh, determine the disease okay and at last is treatment okay treatment and as well as where does it from origin 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 also important okay so basically so we will talk about all those four things not in detail but uh, shortly summary summarizely because then only we will are able to understood about electro homeopathy i think so okay in short summary we will talk about all this four things or three things minimum okay uh, depending upon that we will also understood electro homeopathy so basically what happened uh, allopathy have their own principles they they determine that health and this is how they determine health and disease okay so basically what is health in allopathy allopathy determine that if the all the body pathological or blood values or all values is in stable condition normal condition so then it is health okay what does it mean uh, what does it means it means that if a person having fever means fever means that, that the body temperature is raised okay so that means the patient is in disease condition if the temperature is decreased so the patient is in disease condition if your blood value what is the blood normal value is minimum above 11 or 
hb percentage is there okay if it is decrease below 10 it is etc is condition you have electrolytes so whatever the blood values or blood condition or any condition in that if it is not in the permit level okay if it is not in permit level if it is decreased or increased the they describe it is as disease okay this is the first thing you have to understand okay uh, i give example on example if a person have having fever okay they uh, check the temperature of the patient okay and they tell that this patient have the disease means the, the, the disease name is fever febrile illness pyrexia okay these are the conditions these are the this is a symptom okay what we describe this is a symptom fever is a symptom but what is the reason okay i told you that in the first slide that own diagnosis means what is the reason behind the disease so we have to know in the allopathy what is the disease this is reason so they they means so they describe as that is any it may be any bacteria okay cause cause of fever bacteria virus or fungus any pathogen okay any pathogen which enter into the body and affect okay and affect and affect and it will uh, increase or decrease the blood values if the temperature increases or it may be decreases so if the battery increases entry virus entry occurs fungal entry occurs pathogenic second enter. after entering if the temperature remains same he is not a deceased person if, if he doesn't have any symptoms he is not a deceased person because his body is not reacting to the bacteria so this is not harmful to the bacteria so this a person is in healthy condition okay the same person the same other person the bacteria enters and his temperature increases pulse rate decreases bp decreases so whatever vital signs or any blood value or any other condition in which the normal level from the normal level to it is raised or decreased it is due to the bacteria virus fungus of any pathogens okay it is described as disease okay understood so these are the two important things and the third is treatment okay what is in the path in allopathy what is the way of treatment who know that symptomatic base first symptomatic treatment they very much have believe in symptomatic treatment you have fever please give anti febrile or antipyretic medicine you have cough anti tus your cold antihistamine if you have bp give anti hypertension if you have diabetes anti diabetes whatever condition you have you have to give this medicines okay means you have to take this medicines whatever condition you have so basically their uh, treatment is depend upon the symptoms okay basics okay but nowadays uh, the very much uh, broad treatment is came into the allopathy also okay they also giving vitamins they also giving okay uh, multivitamins and other uh, supportives which improve the functioning capacity they also believing that there is, we need functional medicines also so that's the reason they are giving protective medicines okay so basically uh, this much knowledge is essential and second thing is so how the allopathy establish this much 
space in our society so basically whenever you took the medicine these are the all the chemical based medicines some are naturally some are uh, synthetically prepared okay so which prepared from natural resources it doesn't harm the body but which are prepared from the synthetic process or non natural process it will affect the body it will calm harm you it will maybe result any side effects okay side effects multiple side effects are seen nowadays by taking these medications okay so why uh, how how it will enter into the asia how it it went into the india how it recognize we have to know some history about that so basically uh, during the period of akbar okay his wife is uh, having uh, his uh, his uh, hand are burned okay during lighting lamp okay so he tried all the treatments whatever wise hakims everyone treatment he took but he she doesn't got relief so he able to know that there is a uh, area or english country or england there are the modern or western medicine western medicine okay they called is western medicine okay they are giving treatment so uh, he order and, and uh, he call the doctors to treat his queen after taking 20 days medications uh, he his her skin is completely cured so uh, the badshah the he, he tried to want to implement this uh, medicinal science into the country okay so uh, they they on the development occurs they tried for multiple diseases multiple uh, uh, research happened okay the they invented new medications old medications got banned new medications came into the picture okay they got result from that a number of kids that cured okay in that uh, uh 300 to 200 to uh, 300 years ago from that area from here okay they got multiple results and uh, they cured multiple cases but what is the thing we i mentioned that side effects the harmful effects because of non natural substances okay non natural substances but uh, but uh, in 100 patients 10% 15% patients having side effects so 80% are curing so uh, no one cared about so after that in 1960 it is recognized in india okay it have a a medical act medical degree act in 1960 so in before 1960 it is not recognized so like our electro homeopathy okay we are practicing by the permission of the board by government have uh, gave the permission to us you can practice in electro homeopathy no one could stop you okay likewise in before 1960 or also they are practicing in Western medical science. Okay, in after 1960, a complete law, complete uh, syllabus is there, complete curriculum is there. You have to study all the subjects. You have to write the exams. You have to attend the theories. You have to attend the practicals. Okay, everyone should do this curriculum. Okay, you have to study. How at that time I think three to four years are there. Okay, now 500 of years or MBBS. Now, so what happened? That this happened 1960. Okay, but after 1960, Ayurveda, homeopathy, Yunani, Siddh, and other medical science are recognized. So, basically, what I am telling about you how allopathy entered into India. Okay, so you know, you are know, you know that the basics of allopathy because uh this is uh, uh took the roots of all the area allopathy so that's the reason we have to know how this works how what are the things are there how, why it is most popular now and now means uh past 
30 to 40 or 100 years. One more thing is added that is surgery. So nowadays surgeries are very, very common. So everyone or whoever suffer from the disease, anything. So if it is it is uh, life threatening, it may be uh, helpful for him to do surgery. If it is not life threatening, the the person also doing surgery, that person also willing for surgery. Okay, for uh, relief, like uh, most of the cases I saw that uh, cervical or lumbar laminectomy. Okay, means uh, cervical canal stenosis, lumbar canal stenosis. Okay, nowadays uh, most common other things also seen is the knee replacement. So whoever have money, they are capable for knee replacements. So nowadays surgeries are very very common. Everyone uh, doesn't want hurt himself. They want immediate relief. So that's the reason they want to go for surgery. So basically, we have also a class, a subject, modern pharmacology. Okay, we have we will have ten to fifteen classes. I will take. Okay, in that we will study what type of medications are there. What are the side effects? Because whenever a patient came uh, come to your clinic, he will try all the medications from allopathy he will try all at the upper limit he will reach to upper limit then he will come to your clinic most of the patients in 900 patients you have 85 patients are there who, who will come to your clinic at the last stage the 50, 15 patients will come at early stage they have they will get good results from that 15 patients you will get most patients so, okay, so don't focus on 85%, focus on 50%, 15%. From that 15%, you will get 85% patient. Okay, in my opinion, okay. So, everyone have different opinion, different taste. So, basically, what I am explaining, we will study about modern pathology, uh, modern medicine also, modern pharmacology also, because you have to understood what type of side effects the patients are getting. Why the medicine after taking long time why it is not cured the system of the body because uh, they are telling that means whoever follow the water medicine okay so basically they are telling that this medicine is for lifelong you have to take lifelong no option second option you have to take lifelong okay, this is the uh, counseling they are putting into the brain of the patients but they are taking life long even though they are getting the diseases okay this is a very much thinkable situation okay basically you have to study very deeply you have to treat the patient then only uh, in our society the patient the suffering of the patient will decrease and they will live happy healthy life okay so this is all about uh introduction about allopathy the third and the uh, second system is we all know that ayurveda so basically ayurveda is the origin of india okay so basically uh, ayurveda uh it is uh, ancient ancient medical science which is followed by thousands of years Okay, so basically we all know about Ayurveda. They have the uh, uh, own diagnostics by doing pulses, tongue diagnosis, by uh, uh, knowing the uh, element of the uh, patient. Okay, so this is the Ayurveda. And the third is Unani. We have Unani, you have own diagnosis, own uh, way of treatment and own uh, principle okay and we have homeopathy okay we will talk about homeopathy in detail in coming classes because it is very important because it is related to eh also we will also study uh, unani ayurveda also but here not complete information i am giving in coming classes you will get more come more detail and homeopathy also it is related 
uh, it is uh, not much uh, also related to the electro homeopathy they are relation between homeopathy and electro homeopathy what are the relations we will talk in the future classes so when ayurveda yunani and homeopathy are recognized in india this is the question i have to answer i am giving the answer so basically in 1970 when in 1970 it is recognized okay we have medical act that indian system of medicine ism act indian system of medical act i s m i s m okay before that before 1970 all are taking classes tuitions and studied in private institutions and took the certificates and practice before 1970 like electro homeopathy are doing nowadays okay like same thing homeopathy when homeopathy is registered okay case is recognized in 1973 okay central counseling of homeopathy act okay cch act 1973 so these are the history of ayurveda yunani homeopathy about their recognition but our electro homeopathy is still not recognized by the government of india in future we will must must it will happen will recognize okay so this is all about the introduction class okay